blood pressure. Select the appropriate size cuff based off of your patient's or resident's arm size. You'll need a blood pressure cuff, your stethoscope, and alcohol. Clean the diaphragm of your stethoscope as well as your earpieces. If using a double stethoscope, make sure you clean your earpieces and the instructor's earpieces as well. Mrs. Jenkins, may I take a blood pressure on your left arm? Yes. Okay. Support the resident's arm. Make sure that the end of the cuff is two finger widths above the antecubital area or the inner bend of the arm. You want the cuff at the level of the heart. From the pinky up, locate your brachial artery. This is where you would want to place your stethoscope. Safely inflate your blood pressure cuff. For your first blood pressure, do not go above 160. Slowly decrease the pressure on your cuff. The first thump you hear is called a systolic blood pressure. The last thump you hear is the diastolic blood pressure. Remove your blood pressure cuff. Document your numbers. And clean your equipment at the end of your skill.